Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to VR Man Cave. The Oculus Quest 2 is a great piece of tech and I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone that I'm saying this since my whole channel is basically based around it. But while playing games is a big part of the experience, there are tons of other awesome things you can do with it and one of those things is watching 3D movies. This is gonna be a quick tutorial for you guys, so let's have a look at how you can watch 3D movies on your Quest or Quest 2 right now. I've been fascinated by 3D movies ever since I saw Avatar back in 2009, and yes, that movie is 12 years old, wow. Anyway, there was a time when being able to watch 3D movies on your TV was a state-of-the-art feature, but it didn't quite catch on and most companies that produce TVs have pretty much phased it out completely. But now, with the rise of VR, watching 3D movies is easier and more immersive than ever, and you can do it in the comfort of your own home, in the park, on an airplane, or on your grandma's couch. So let's have a look at what your options are and how to do it. Let's start with the quick and easy way, an application called Big Screen, which is a social movie watching platform with a variety of environments where you can meet up with friends or others to watch TV shows and movies, including 3D ones. And it also has completely free ones that will have a few commercial breaks cause, you know, things are rarely completely free. Well, except for subscribing to VR Man Cave and joining my awesome new Discord server. But now, back to big screen. If you don't want commercial breaks, you can also rent 3D movies or use ones you may already have on your computer, so let's have a look at the two main ways to do that. The first option is to simply copy the 3D movie file onto your Oculus Quest. To do this, you simply connect your device to your PC or laptop and hit yes on the prompt you'll see in the headset to allow your PC to read and write data to your Quest. Once you do this, you'll see it pop up on your computer like any other storage device such as a USB drive. Just navigate to the movies folder, copy the file in there and then open up big screen. You then go to video player and click on local files and we'll talk about the other option in a second. From there you just click the file and from the cogwheel enable the correct 3D option. You'll pretty much be able to see which one is correct so don't worry about what these names mean. Now, there are pros and cons to this method. The good thing is that you'll be able to watch these completely offline since the file will be locally stored on your Quest. So if you find yourself somewhere without Wi-Fi access, then you can still enjoy your favorite 3D movies. The bad thing is that especially if you have a 64GB version of the Quest 2, then this option is not great since the files are pretty large. As an example, I've used Avatar 3D at 1080p resolution and the file is almost 24GB in size. So almost half of your entire storage. Granted, Avatar is a really long movie, but you get what I mean. The second option is to stream the 3D movie from your PC to your Quest using the second option in the video player that Big Screen offers, DLNA, which essentially enables you to use any popular media server software such as Plex and access it from Big Screen to stream your favorite movies in high quality, wire-free. To set this up, all you need to do is to install Plex on your computer, pick the folders that you have your movies in and then instead of clicking on local files in big screen go with option number two DLNA and you should see your Plex server and the folder you've chosen pop up. From there just navigate to that location hit play and pick the correct 3D mode and you're good to go. Big Screen is a super cool app that's free to download and you can do tons of great stuff on it without having to pay a cent. But if you prefer just a simple video player that is capable of playing 3D movies, then Pegasus is a great option and it's only $4.99 on the Oculus Store. I really hope this short tutorial was useful to you and a like on the video would be fantastic. Now you can click either here or here to choose what to watch next. Stay well and enjoy VR. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers!